Hi, I'm Mike Kiley and I'm with Dennis and Yanni. Today we're in Melbourne, Florida, and we're going to take a quick walk through an Arrowcat 42 flybridge. She's an amazing new design of power catamarans with outboard power and a flybridge. Let's get on board and take a look. The first thing you'll notice is a large cockpit. Now moving aft, you'll see a centerline swim platform with gated water access. So what we have here is probably looks like the future of most uh, power catamarans. This is a Suzuki 350 horsepower. It's got duo prop for more power, and it also has jack plates so you can raise and lower the engines in shallow conditions. So what a great entertainment area we have here. You see it's got a sink, a grill, some storage. The grill actually comes up to the cooking position. And then of course it's retracted down and it's not being in use. Complementing the grill space is a large cockpit fridge. Mirrored on both sides, our twin door gunnel storage and unique fold down boarding steps. Let's move forward to the foredeck. As expected, a huge flat deck with unobstructed access to the anchor windlass. Surprisingly wide side decks with plenty of handholds. Now let's head to the flybridge. So here we are at the upper helm. You notice that it's center line and laid out very neat. You've got your joystick, your engine controls, your troll mode for the engines. You've also got your jack plate switch, bring your engines up and down. VHF, large ray marine touchscreen, and of course your Suzuki engine controls. This flybridge was made for entertaining. There's plenty of wraparound seating, cocktail table, to port you'll see an ice maker and to starboard a small refrigerator. One of the things I really enjoy about this boat is how the outside and indoor spaces connect. A simple push of a button and a sliding door replaces what many boats have as tons of canvas work to deal with. Looking to starboard, you'll see a large linear galley with all the right equipment and plenty of countertops. This leads us to the lower helm that has all the same equipment as the flybridge, as well as two captain's chairs. Here there's plenty of room to navigate, as well as unobstructed views. On the port side there's plenty of raised seating to see out every window. In front of that is a cocktail table with plenty of drink holders and handrails. The table has the ability to lower to become a lounge or of course open up as a full dinner table to feast the whole family. Let's head to Starp to see the guest cabin. Here you'll find a very light and airy cabin filled with plenty of cabinetry and storage. Directly across is a good size head. 
got a shower, vanity, and a nice large window for ventilation and views. Let's head over to the port side to see the owner's stateroom. As expected, the owner's stateroom is very well appointed with a full queen size berth, tons of storage, and a flat screen TV. The owners had up a couple notable features, including his and hers mirrors, as well as a full walk-in shower. Let's take her off for a lift and see how she performs. Her contemporary design and striking lines makes her one of the prettiest power cats ever built. At idle, she moves along effortlessly and completely stable. With a slight tap of the throttles, she goes up to cruising speed of 4200 RPMs at 22 miles per hour and only burns 0.88 gallons per mile. Her top end speed is 35 miles per hour. Well that concludes our walkthrough for today. I had a great time, I hope you did too. If there's something else you need to know about this Cat 42, feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Have a great day.